Hi everyone, my name is C.K. Lind, Director of Koji, Convergence of Global Innovators, home for those who are passionate about innovation technologies as a means to solving global issues. We talked about tactics to work smart, so today I thought we might talk about playing smart. Let's face it, people love to procrastinate, and contrary to popular beliefs, scientists are people too. From sports to celebrity gossip, YouTube, and Comedy Central, we have a million and one way to procrastinate. So the real question is, how can you procrastinate productively? How can you move forward with your research, passing the time, but not wasting it? One of the favorite ways to procrastinate productively is to read papers. If your desk is anything like mine, you know there are always always, always piles of paper and journals cluttering up your workspace. I bet even your professor's table look the same way, if not worse than yours. You know and I know that it's a pile that we'll one day someday will like to get to, but probably never will. Try the following instead. There are really no better ways to procrastinate productively than to hear the musings of other scientists. They are passionate as you are for science, and seeing things through their expert lenses may help you see something new in your field that you may otherwise overlook on your own. Check out scienceblogs.com for some thoughtful columns or R&D daily to stay abreast on interesting innovations. Both are awesome, awesome resources to expand your knowledge base and putting off cleaning dishwares in the lab or that lithography step, you know you'll be stuck in the clean room for at least the next four hours. People often say, art imitates life and life imitates art. In my third year, I stumble upon one of my favorite pastimes, PhD comics. It's smart, it's funny. And surprisingly, it captures the nuances of the grad school life. Learn it early and learn it vicariously. I know that you know you don't want to find yourself as a living, breathing version of their grad student caricatures one day. That would be pretty tragic. Another good way to procrastinate productively is to get on the Koji Collaboration platform. Listening to other innovators talk about their breakthrough research, interacting with other researchers to expand your professional network, or discussing the latest challenges in your research. Okay, there are tons of useful distractions out there, including the advice you're hearing right now. Did I just blow your mind? No? Well, at least you can feel good that you are well on the way towards procrastinating productively. This is Dr. C.K. Lin, and I look forward to hearing from you in the comments.